Welcome back. It's been two months now since I started my development journey and I'm excited to show you what I've accomplished so far. On our last devlog, we started from this and ended up with this. In this video, we'll be diving deeper into the development of Whistlelight's combat system. I'll be sharing my thought process, challenges, and solutions I've come up along the way. So whether you're interested in game development, programming, or just love seeing new games come to life, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. As a starting solo indie game developer, working on this project has been a huge challenge, but having a supportive community behind me makes all the difference. There are 58 subscribers supporting the project as of recording this video. Yay! Thanks for the support! By subscribing, liking, or engaging in the comments below, you'll not only help push my videos to other interested viewers, but you'll also be part in shaping the future of the game. So subscribe, it's free and it means a lot to me. When I started developing the combat system for my game, I knew I wanted to draw inspiration from some of my favorite games. Specifically, I wanted to capture the complexity of combat in Dark Souls, while also incorporating the simplicity of Valheim. The combat system in Dark Souls is known for its depth and complexity. There are many different weapons and abilities to choose from, and players need to learn how to time their attacks and dodges in order to be successful. I love the challenge of the combat in Dark Souls, but I also wanted to make sure that my system wasn't too overwhelming for players. At the same time, offer a unique fresh experience for the player. To put it simply, I don't want the game to be labeled as another Dark Souls copy. Also, my biggest problem with this is the project's budget. I don't have the resources and manpower of big companies to make different combat animations and art that games like Dark Souls have to offer. That's where Valheim's simplicity approach comes in. Valheim has a much simpler combat system, but it feels satisfying to play. Players have fewer options to choose from, but each one feels impactful and meaningful. I wanted to capture that feeling in my own game by also incorporating some of the complexity of Dark Souls. To achieve this, I've been working on a combat system that has a few basic moves, but also allows for more advanced techniques and strategies. Both the player and the enemy AI can attack, block, and dodge, and use special abilities depending on their weapon, abilities, and character class. The combat system will be centered around these mechanics. Stamina, or the life essence. Poise, attack variety and skills. Stamina will be used by the enemy AI. This will limit their attacks before they stop spamming them. As for the player, this will be managed by the life essence. Every time you use a skill, your limited life essence will be used up, making you manage your actions. Poise. This will determine if the enemy AI or you as the player will stagger or get your guard broken. This will prevent both the player and the AI from tanking and spamming attacks or defending itself infinitely. Attack variety and skill. There are different attack variety and skills in the system for each character type. For starters, these are the attack variety and skills of our skeleton character. Normal attacks. Just a basic left mouse button attack. Dash attacks, where you dash forward and time your attack button to make a quick attack animation. Dodge counter, where you dash backwards and follow up on a fast counter. Shield bash, where you break the enemy's poise or guard. Charge attacks where you make a chain of huge damage unstoppable combo with long wind-up times. Sprint attacks. This will be used once the mode of the combat changes from battle mode to predator mode, where the enemy AI will run for their lives and you hunt them down. Stagger and execute. Once the enemy's poise is broken, the enemy will stagger, 
and is open for a powerful execute attack. I made all these attack skills by first downloading an animation asset from the asset store, then individually coding them with animation parameters to link with a certain animation in the animator. Once that bool statement or trigger is called true, it will play the animation. I've added colliders to the weapon and shield, and included an animation event that triggers a function to deal damage to enemies when the collider hits them. This feature is crucial because it ensures that the weapon or shield only causes damage during a specific part of the animation, rather than randomly damaging enemies that are nearby and colliding with it. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. See you on the next devlog where we talk about enemy AI.